Welcome back guys, and uh, doing another Jack of Trades, just uploaded the uh, last video that y'all just saw, I'm sure, um, and decided that I should start putting this into Slayer instead of smithing for the time being, mostly because I'm grinding out Slayer. And while smithing will definitely be better in the long term, um, for the moment, Slayer just feels so much better to me. And I'm finally trying to make myself some proper gizmos. I thought I should augment my Noxious Staff if I'm going to keep using it for Slayer. And, uh, yeah, so that means... Where is it at? Five precise components. And I'm gonna put in a lot of attempts into getting P4, E2. Let's see what happens. Well, I ended up getting quite a few uh, precise 3 equilibrium 2s. Gotta hold on to those for whenever I end up getting Aftershock at some point in the future. Um, so I'm not going to end up augmenting my Noxus staff just yet, uh, because gold is a lot easier to come by than Divine Charge for the moment. Uh, but once I have Aftershock, I will definitely be augmenting it. Yet another Godsword Shard one. Finally. It finally dropped. Damn it. <laughs> Like, all the way at the end of the hour. I wanted to start doing racks tonight, you know? I just, you know, I'll, I'll just go for one more try to see if I can get it to up my, my DPS a little bit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that puts me at... Let's see. 688 kill count. Damn. Got myself enhanced devoted three on the first try with the only five faceted components I actually have. Uh, so I've already augmented my armadillo chest plate. Gonna throw on enhanced devoted three there, and then uh, let me pull out a crackling gizmo as well because I already didn't. I didn't already have that. I may have had it actually in my chaotic crossbow. Uh, let me look. Not sure about that one. Um, no, that one's looting, and that one's precise and equilibrium, which I can improve with one of these loads of gizmos. I can improve one of those, uh, even though I don't need to. I'm gonna use my death load of starts because I'm I'm sure that's better. Uh, but I can take out enhanced devoted three now, uh, or enhanced devoted two out of my uh, augmented armadillo chain skirt, and replace that with something else. Uh, I'm not quite sure what it will be yet. Uh, Probably, what's it called? Invigorate? Gives you extra adrenaline chance. Ah, that's right, it's called Impatient. Yeah, so now I have Impatient 3 to go there. And, uh, yeah. Better perks all around. You know, that actually wasn't too bad for getting back into racks. Alright. But, uh, I only used one brew flask. And, uh, well, this many sharks. So, it's, it's actually not that bad, uh... For me, I don't think. Onyx is on the second kill. I will take it. Got him! <laughs> and he said, get your Gratz message ready because he's about to pick up 99 div, I think. Yeah, 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 he has to get his Gratz message ready for me. <laughs> oh, cool. That's uh, 110 mage. So, uh, only 10 more virtual levels to go. That puts me at 39 mil, almost. Um, yeah, it's actually quite a bit. And, ah, yay! Slayer Daily, done. And pretty much in sync with the end of this Water Fiends task, I'm, uh, going to pick up a virtual HP level. Bam! Nice. <clears throat> 108. Well, trying Ripper Demons for the first time, and sorry for the crappy graphics, I had to do it to uh, see a little bit better inside the Ripper Demon cave. Died to a spec on, like, my fourth or fifth kill, but they, they don't seem that bad. You can probably get used to them fairly quickly. It's just, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a scrub, right? Oh, I saw the huge beam, and I thought it was a... Uh, a ripper claw piece, but now it's just one of the journals. Uh, so I guess I guess that's still pretty nice, because uh, they're a master quest cape requirement. 
and probably one of the more annoying ones. Nice, virtual strength level 100. Alright, a corrupted creatures task, and apparently corrupted workers are insane for Slayer XP. So I'm gonna pick that one up, uh, and go ahead and prefer that. I'm saving my last one for Soul Devourers once I finally unlock those guys. And uh, hopefully that means I have a pretty good prefer list. Getting close to 105, and 105 is what you need for soul, uh, soul mobs, so... Yeah, hopefully I'll be able to have that uh, tomorrow. While all of these things are nice to collect, I think it's finally time to alk these collections and stop picking them up. I've already been doing that with my polypore sticks, uh, but the dark bows, the granite mauls, abyssal wand, abyssal orb, abyssal whips, and whip vine. Uh, gotta alk all of these because I don't really have any use for them. And uh, yeah, I'm running out of bank space. I need to get a little bit uh, more GP anyway, get to like 30 or 45 mil and I can afford another bank booster and then I'll be a little bit more comfortable, but for the time being, these are just going to go by and uh, turn into some money. Well, it's hard not to be salty whenever you die to a Raxor like that, so uh, just had him spawn minions, and I swear I clicked one. I actually right-clicked on the name, uh, but my ability still cast at a Raxor, and I one-shot myself to a Mirrorback somehow. Uh, I was at full HP, so that was... Yeah, that was something. Well, there's the end of the Rax Reaper. I'm gonna go grab another. Uh, I did, like, fail twice there. Um, I'm not using my Signs of Life, though, and that's that's why. Like, I would have been perfectly fine uh, had I. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's, it's actually pretty smooth. You can see I'm not using a ton of food. I uh, used, what, 10 brew doses and this much shark um, for... Uh, what was that, 120? Uh, 140. So, uh, yeah, getting a little more comfortable at Rax. Well, it was Vind, and now it's Telos, and I think I'm gonna take the Telos one. Uh, I might not do it, like, today. I might wait until tomorrow, like, after resets, but, uh, yeah, I'm gonna attempt that one. That was really rough. Started panicking in the end. Please make it worth it. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, it's uh, the next day, my vampirism was on cooldown, and I stayed up till 4am, so, uh, yeah, I was going to bed. Um, but did a corrupted workers task, and got 4 key to the crossing, which is actually pretty good, I think, uh, and my Ushapati. Oh, wow, I did not expect that. <laughs> okay, I'll take the Ripper Cloth. I guess that's a T85 main hand, so something I didn't have before, but my lance is still better, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't know where this would actually come in handy, but I guess it's good to have. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I totally forgot, I should pull up my uh, kill count. Let's see, I believe I have killed one extra. Soon gonna be two extra. Yep. Um, where they at? 92, so that was at 90 kill count. That's pretty insane. And nice, level 105 Slayer. Glad that one's finally down, so I have uh, Soul Devourers now unlocked. And a virtual attack level. Come back to Telos, because that's my Reaper task, and, uh, well, I succeeded in the kill, but I'm still ways using way too many uh, materials on this. Oh wait, 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 I should be using Luck of the Dwarves, yeah, let's, let's turn that on. 75, and does it change? No, it's still 75. Womp womp. Alright, that kill, so kill number three was a little bit better. Uh, don't know how much better. <laughs> uh, still pretty bad at this boss, but you know, I, I'll take it, I guess. It's increased up to 25, that's scary. Yeah, okay, I ended up dying at 25% in rage. He is really quite a hard boss. Um, gonna have to put in a lot of practice if I actually want to uh, uh, to get him down and go for, you know, the Staff of Sliske I have on my uh, thumbnail. But, um, yeah, I think I'll be leaving him alone for the most part uh, until I have, like, I don't know, as best gear as possible to go fight him with. Um, I'd rather not use subjugation, you know, if I can get uh, tectonic before too long. 
I mean, yeah. Jimmy <laughs> I like how Jimmy comes back into loot. He's like, oh, I gotta get the loot. <laughs> First racks of the day, off to a good start. Just picking up a nice little invention level. Bam! 121. And one firework. 120% is where things really start to get scary, but hey, more onyx bolts. Well, I just died because I didn't have a sign of life on me, and I didn't have any, uh, my, uh, free signs of life from my aura. Yeah, so it turns out I didn't turn on my actual sharpshooter aura until, like, my fourth kill. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now I'm at 200% in rage. Um, the Dark Core came out of Araxi and hopped straight to me. Like, first thing. Never seen that happen before. Um, apparently my friend has only ever uh, seen it happen like three or four times in one and a half thousand kill count. So, uh, yeah, I just got really unlucky and ended up dying there. Oh well. Well, that's where I'm finally going to end Rax for today. I hit the, uh, <laughs> highest in rage I ever have. I did a kill at 260. And since Acid Pull was open, it actually, uh, said in-game that it was a 297% enraged kill. Uh, so I'm pretty proud of myself for that one. Um, really happy that I can streak that high fairly comfortably, too. Uh, I had to switch up to Rock Tails at about 220%, uh, just to keep things, you know, comfortable. But I normally take uh, four brews here, four brews here, uh, two Super Restores, then six Baron Sharks, and the rest is Rock Tails. And you can see I actually still have, uh, you know, ten Rock Tails left and four of the Brew Flasks. So, yeah, things are going pretty well. Um, I think it's hilarious that I didn't activate my aura for like three or four kills, but then it still turned out okay. Oh, okay. Armadil Chain Skirt number three. Uh, just came here for a Reaper task, and I guess, I guess that's good. You know, um, it'll just add to my bank value, sure. Maybe, uh, in the future I will augment it and then disassemble it at ten for, a uh, Armadil component. Since I'm at Kree, I thought I'd have a little fun and uh, complete the double swoop achievement. As well as maybe the one where he pushes you all the way across the room. If they would uh, hit me a few more times. Now maybe I'm supposed to go across it uh, in this direction, east to west. Uh, but anyway, I guess if I finish up the kill, it'll pop up that I did that achievement. Nice. And there's another Reaper task done. 247 points, so I should be able to afford a Hydrix tomorrow. Wait, is the Hydrix 300? Am I crazy? I can't remember. Oh man, I got the famous Battlestaff RDT. Ain't that some shit. Luck of the Dwarves is beautiful. Oh right, and that was task number 350. 300 points, man. Oh, level 105 ranged. Nice. Well, I missed the fireworks, but I just hit 40 million magic XP. Alright, so that was a 6 kill hour of Araxor. Let's see. And nothing for the whole hour. Reap. Well, actually, I got, I got bruised twice, so that's okay. And uh, here's gonna be a pretty nice level... 106 Slayer. Hey, what do you know? It's a Visage. I think that's, uh, my second Visage drop outside of, um, QBD. Not sure. Well, that was one of the hardest kills I've done in a while, and it's because, I think, uh, I wore my Slayer helmet instead of my Armadil helmet, so, uh, yeah, I think I took a little extra damage compared to what I normally would at 100%. And there's the end of today's Reaper assignment. It happened to be a Raxor again, and of course I'll take that. Even though I'm not entirely sure how good it is, uh, I know that I don't really need a Hydrix, so I'm gonna go for Reaper's Choice and uh, go ahead and get that unlocked. Uh, I'm not sure how often it rolls, but I figure it'll be nice. Uh, it'll stop me from having days where I go all the way down to 25% uh, points and then still don't do the task because I don't really want to fight any of the bosses I was offered. 
Um, and especially since I just checked on the uh, group bosses and the options menu, uh, yeah, should be pretty good to have this. Um, looking forward to some of the upcoming tasks. Hopefully, I can get some some rots or some rago and give me good incentive to go to those bosses. Uh, though I do think I want to do some rots tomorrow and get some more rock tails. Yet another hour of racks done without a single leg drop, a hilt drop, or a, even a pheromone. Uh, I think I did get bruised three times in those six kills though, so that was nice. And uh, yeah, I got herbs once and I got money twice, so that's, that's also something that'll add up a little bit. But uh, yeah, kind of disappointing. Did a Beastmaster kill earlier and forgot to record the loot, uh, and now I'm doing runecrafting. Yeah, I have a lot of these runecrafting urns, you guys remember I made them, and uh, I've got some book reading to do, so I figure I'll do this. It wasn't Trey Hernhauer or anything, so I didn't want to go mine. Uh, yeah, so this is what I'm doing. Well, that's enough rune span for me, just ticking down a little bit of XP and getting some points towards the trim requirement, in case I ever go for trim. Uh, so, boom. A little tasty XP drop, uh, getting close to 100, I guess. And uh, time to go do another hour of Rex. Hopefully I'll get lucky. More Onyxes. I will take it. Hopefully I can get in one or two more kills this hour. Alright, last kill of the night. Come on, anything good? Okay, I'll take the bruise because that pays for like the last two or three kills. Um, and some money. I, I am running kind of low on money. So uh, yeah, hopefully I can get my tier 90 bow before long because I am running out of ancient bones to keep making uh, death lotus starts um, but with that kill uh, that kill being number 161 240% enraged kill um, that's the end of this video I will be uploading it tomorrow there will be a poll in the description if you're interested it's going to be asking uh, if you guys are interested in seeing me stream on the weekends whenever I have the opportunity so yeah, feel free to answer it or comment down below uh, as to what you'd like to see. I'll probably just be doing bossing and Slayer. You know, Slayer going for 120 and different bossing like Rots, Rago, or Rax. Um, yeah. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and uh, welcome to all of the new subscribers from Overfletch. Uh, he gave me a shout out in his most recent video, which was just awesome and crap I need to pick up those sharks. Oh.